Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Manager Certification. We are in chapter two talking about test management and moving into the next topic, which is 2.7, business value of testing. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be talking more about that what kind of contributions does the testing have in order to add more value to the overall business which you get from the project. Now basically when we refer here the word business basically means the business stakeholders or to the customer or overall the project management that what exactly this activity which is one of the phase of your development life cycle called as testing contributes to the overall product management. Now that's what this particular segment will be deep diving into and helping you to understand being a test manager that what you should consider at this point of time to refer or let other people know or the stakeholders know or business representatives know that the testing is adding this value to your overall product quality. Now, the test manager must work to optimize testing so that the good business value is delivered. But what do you mean by good business value? Is it about testing efficiently? Is it about running more and more test cases? Or is it about just meeting the expectation? But how do you do that? So, of course, testing excessively does not deliver good business value because the testing will impose unreasonable delays and cost more than it saves. So, it's just not about writing n number of test cases or conducting exhaustive testing in fact from the foundation level you do remember that exhaustive testing is impossible we should not be looking forward to conduct that and doing that may not meet the expectations as well it is all about like making sure that you run limited number of test cases but to the point and at least uh, mitigating all the possible risk which you have identified and at least covering all those critical areas which are required but at the same time, it does not mean that testing should be conducted too little as well. Testing too little does not deliver good business value as well because too many defects will be delivered to the user. The optimum lies between these two extremes. So a test manager must understand that what is the, you know, uh, optimum level of conducting a testing because if in case uh, a product requires to be tested at an optimum level and you do a little less than that probably you will be missing a lot of defects and you do extensive level of testing then of course you're wasting a lot of your time probably increasing the cost of testing now that's what we will be exploring more in detail that what is this optimum level and how you can measure that now the test manager must help testing stakeholders understand this optimum and the value delivered by the testing while most organizations consider testing valuable in some senses, few managers, including test managers, can quantify, describe, or articulate that value. Now, of course, the very first step what you take towards defining this optimum level is by test estimation. The test estimation is a process which you have understood in previous tutorials that it is all about determining how much testing is enough. So you have already determined to a certain extent that what is that you need to test and how much do you need to test on a particular product to meet the expectations within the given limited time and limited budget. Now, while most, uh, uh, in addition, the many test managers, test leads, and tester focus on the tactical details of testing, which means aspects specific to the task or to the uh, test level, while ignoring the large strategic, that is higher level issues related to testing that other projects participants, especially managers, care about. So a test manager would definitely consider on the uh, particular detail about testing compared to the other stakeholders or other stakeholder managers, which do not really wonder about like how the design is going to go. But of course, we do refer them in order to derive our valuable test cases, but not uh, you know getting involved in their effort that if design is taking it too long, it does mean that testing should also be longer. Or the coding was quite quick, does not mean the testing will also be quick because we uh, to create a particular page you may need a little time but to test it efficiently due to the criticality or priority or complexity or maybe a risk involved in that you may have a longer duration required for testing that simple module as well so it completely does not rely on the weightage and the duration for the other activities uh, in the development life cycle now testing delivers value to the organization project our operation in both quantitative or qualitative way now what is quantitative values and what is qualitative values 
quantitative values of course it says from the quantity point of view it includes finding defects that are prevented or fixed prior to release finding defects that are known prior to the release that means not fixed but documented perhaps with the workarounds reducing risk by running as many tests as possible and delivering information on the project process and product status so now you see that these are all the documentable things the moment you document anything this adds value to the quantitatively measurement of testing contribution towards business value if in case you are you know trying to create a test log the outcome of the results any kind of reporting methods which you are contributing to the overall management that is what you call it as quantitative values to overall business value what is qualitative value it includes improved reputation for quality smoother and more predictable releases increased confidence protection from legal liabilities and reducing risk of loss of whole mission or even lives now that's from the quality point of view that once this particular product will be released people will find it very satisfying while using this particular product and they will not have any such you know or drastic failures which might be fatal to people or people may wonder that you know why i did opt to use this product at all and uh, they may regret about using certain products so we don't uh, leave such kind of things to be delivered with the product and we become more predictable because we have gained experience we have gained confidence while interacting with the product so we can now make other people rely on it or you know assure the end users that you know the product is reliable and stable and you can very well go ahead and you know start working on it so that adds more from the qualitative point of view which will be definitely realized uh, more after the release of the product so these are two important aspects which you need to be contributing from further to add to this of course there are something more to elaborate on that is what is cost of quality now test manager should understand which of these values apply for their organization project and or operation and be able to communicate about testing in terms of these values so a test manager should definitely be aware of like what kind of qualitative value should be applied what kind of quantitative value should be applied and then determine the effort required to do that a well established method for measuring the qualitative and uh, sorry quantitative values and efficiency of testing is called as cost of quality or sometime cost of poor quality which you measure generally to determine that how effective your testing was for a particular project now cost of quality involves classifying projects and operational cost into four categories related to product defect cost how do you measure that so we basically have four different uh, categories to measure the overall cost of quality and the four categories are cost of prevention that is Train, uh, training developers to write more maintainable and secure code so that you can prevent as many defects as possible in fact if you talk about static analysis of codes you talk about static testing of certain documentations and work product is also a step towards prevention of the defect so the amount you invested in order to prevent a defect will be measured as cost of prevention cost of detection which is the effort required by doing certain approaches like reviews the review is an approach which is conducted to detect a particular defect Ex dynamic executions that is running test cases is another approach of detecting a defect so first you try to prevent by training your people in their respective jobs so that they do not do mistakes then we put effort and a cost is involved there to detect as many defects as possible and uh, try to you know identify them and resolve them as soon as possible the third category is cost of internal failure what if you find something which is critical and the product fails internally before release still you have a particular cost to rework on the product and re re release you know re resolve all that issues and uh, rework on certain things to make sure that this failure does not happen outside the you know organization so fixing defects detected during testing or reviews prior to delivery is what we call it as cost of internal failure and of course the fourth category is cost of external failure which is post release support cost associated with defective software delivered to the customer and you know generally the more and more you get call and you send service guys to resolve that issue at your doorstep so that cost is also taken from the project cost 
because of course uh, you know you are assisting your real users to make sure that they retain your product and continue to use your product so cost of external failure will be counted from that so these are the four categories put together will determine the cost of overall quality of a product a portion of the testing budget is cost of detection that is money that would be spent even if testers find no defects such as money spent developing test so of course that also comes as a part of the budget because we do put your effort it's not mandatory that if you write 100 test cases you will get 100 defects sometimes it's possible that you write 100 test cases and probably you do not get any defects so most most of the time you see that as a part of the product based organization which are more uh, quality and standard driven approaches and uh, they strictly follow all the guidelines and strictly meet all the you know standards which they follow like automobile industry uh, air airborne systems like you know aircrafts and any other aviation systems so they you know heavily rely on certain standards and uh, they have very less uh, you know defects being identified but do we don't have budget for that then no of course we do have because your efforts required to write those test cases and test them still require certain budget um yeah so while the remainder is the cost of internal failure like after your pattern or in case you find any defects to rework on that is the internal failure which is the actual cost associated with founding found defects the total cost of detection and internal failure are typically well below the cost of external failure of course because that would be quite expensive if you get it outside and you may have more number of users uh, reporting the same issues and you need to answer everyone manually to resolve that issue so for example you sold 100 pieces of washing machine and all 100 users call back you that you know my washing machine is not working then you need to send executive staff to 100 places 100 different homes to resolve that issue so of course that cost is quite expensive which makes the testing an excellent value by determining the cost of these four categories the test managers can create convincing cases for testing so that's definitely these business values play a vital role and uh, add a lot of value to overall testing so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have any questions feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning